invite to invite Paul Kimurto, who is going to read the eulogy of our departed hero, Kelvin Kiptum. Welcome, sir. Who was the firstborn? Child of Mr. Samson Chiriyo Chipkiyeng and Mrs. Mary Chipkiyeng Chibagap Chipkongen in Chipsamu. He was the immediate uncle of Joseph Chipkiyeng, Philip Kiblaga Chipkiyeng, and the late Mariko Chipkiyeng Chipkongen. The late Kelvin was an uncle to Ruth Chipkiyeng, Rospella, and Jane. He was the nephew to Elizabeth, Juliana, Paulina, Tamurei, and the late Tapkili, Tabutich, and the late Anne. He was the stepbrother to Rhoda Chemutai, cousin, to, uh, cousin brother to Kimutai, Patrick, Timothy, Bernard, Sami, Sabina, Tapita, Catherine, Susan, Viola, Winnie, Oscar, Emmanuel, Nancy, Charity, Marilyn, Irene, Elizabeth, Beatrice, Emma, Faith, and the late Phyllis. He was a brother-in-law to Marcy, Cynthia, Monica, Margaret, Naomi, Viola, Andrew, Sammy, Okla, Hilary, and Kennedy. Matano son to Margaret and Purity. He was the uncle to Maurice Kangogo, Mariko Kangogo, Lawrence Kangogo, and Kenneth Kangogo. Kevin was son-in-law to Joseph Rotich and Briska Rotich. Kevin's education life. The late Kevin joined Capserere Academy within the uh, Jepsamo area, Jepkorio area, and later transferred to Kipchawat Primary School. But he later came back home and joined Jepsamo Primary School, where he did his KCBE in 2012. He joined Jepkorio Vocational Training College, which is not very far from here, in the year 2013. He graduated with a certificate in electrical engineering, uh, but later on, we know that Kiptum, bright star, shown to briefly. The Kenyan world champion, uh, older, tragic death at the age of 24, leaves us with an answered question over his first potential in athletics. The, the family mourns his departed soul. His sports career. The late Kevin Kiptum, the world champion record holder, began his sporting career very early at Chipsamo Primary School in Staten 4 at the age of 10. But the training was not routine practice. Since Kip, the training was a routine practice, since Kiptum used to go for training sessions barefoot during and after he had finished herding the family livestock in Kaptagat Forest, uh, next to the family home in Jepsamo. The late Kiptum was an active member of athletics during, during his primary school games, and he won several competitions, both at zonal level, sub-county level, and sometimes at the county level when he was in the primary school. After completing the primary school, his father convinced him to begin electrical studies at Chip Corio Vocational Training College, which is actually within this vicinity, but he preferred to devote his attention to athletics. In turn, of becoming the latest world uh, marathoner from the Great Rift Valley. While at the, the Vocational Training College, Kelvin used to exercise very early in the morning uh, from 5 to 7 a.m. before attending his lessons. During his morning exercise, he met athletes from Jeff Korea training camp who motivated him to join, to join them. Where there are training facilities like Kipchoge Stadium or Chep Koile University uh, track field, that is University of Eldoret. After his studies, he personally started another training camp at Chip Koryo, a training athletic camp, where he was later joined by his friends, including Timothy, uh, Tanui, and many other upcoming athletes who are in our midst today. 
It is during this period that his dreams came true as, he, as a hero in the field of athletics because he got time to focus on the training. Kiptum also met his late coach, Mr. Kelvanis Akisemana from Rwanda, who perished with him during the tragic accident during that time when he was at Chief Koryo. They became so close, and Giptum followed his instructions during his training sessions with a lot of diligence, devotion, and commitment and discipline. These joint efforts between him and his coach bear fruit, and his star began to shine when he first participated in Eldoret Family Bank Marathon in 2018, and he might the winner. He also participated in the Eldoret Cast Marathon, where he also won with ease. Later in 2020, Kiptum completed, competed in Kakamega Forest Half Marathon, where he also won with a lot of ease. After winning many local races, the late Kiptum got an opening, an opening to travel abroad for international competitions. He's fast. International Marathon Competition was in Valencia, Spain in 2022, where he participated and won with two hours, 0 0.1 minutes and 53 seconds, putting him the fastest marathoner in the world. The following year, in 2023, he participated in the London Marathon, where he won again with two hours, one minute and 20 second second, 27 seconds, placing him the second fastest Maradona in the world after Eliud Kipchoge. In the same year, in October 2023, Kiptum also participated in Chicago International Marathon in the US and broke the world record at two, men, two hours and 35 seconds. He has always reduced the speed, and you could see already a minute had been dropped. Kiptum was unique. In a little over 10 months, from January to October, he recorded the fastest, the fastest debut marathon in history. He went to break, he went quicker to win the London Marathon, and then knocked an enormous 34 seconds of Kipchoge was record in Chicago. Kiptum had three marathons, three victories, and three of the seven fastest times in the history of marathon. Kiptum won Oh, Kiptun would also, Kiptun would not post or talk about his success to the media or to the public. He would do this in a soft-spoken way and shy with a lot of humility and ampleness at all times, including on the camera when he was interviewed by the media. As he was preparing for his next two races to come later this year, Kiptun was not resting. He was training very hard, studying every morning from Flosba to Cap Tagat Forest, covering a distance of 42 kilometers every day from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. in less than two hours, with, with his coach and many of the athletes who are here. They were winding the hills and steep terrains of Elgeo Marakwet escapement, escapement to cover one of the longest and the very high heeled uh, terrain. He had real ambitions and aspirations of becoming the first man to officially win below two hours marathon race in the world in April this year. His family life and marriage. The late Kelvin was married to Asnet Chiruto Rotich Kiptum in 2017 in a traditional marriage. They were blessed with two children, namely Kevin Kigen and Precious Cherop. He was also an uncle to Linda, Bill, Abel, Sheila, Mariko, Meshak, Joy, Kevin, Tracy, Faith, Sandra, Maureen, Chantel, Jempumba, Alvin, Beryl, Shanice, Chelimo, and Fabian, among others. We pray God to lift each generation, includes the names that are here, to his greatness in the coming years. Our big regret as a family is that Giptum never had enough time and never money to share the rewards of his toil with his young family, the community, the country, and international community at large. Gone too soon, Kelvin. 
is Christian life. The late Kelvin was a member of the Anglican Church of Kenya, Diocese of Eldoret, and also a member of St. Peter's Parish, Jepkorio, and also St. Mary's Simotwet local church in Jepkorio, as the Reverend has talked about here. He was baptized by Benerval Osea Partilol on 26 February 2023. He meant that young youth and lately he was coordinating the development pillar of the church and also he was a member of the Kenya Anglican Male Association. He was also involved in several uh, departmental matters in the local church and at parish level. He also sponsored several children who are in secondary school and around, in, around the, the, the secondary schools around the community who were also had a lot of passion in athletics. Health. The late Kiptum was in good health until Sunday, February 2024, where he was involved in a tragic road accident along Eldoret Kaptagat Jepkoria Road while di driving home from Eldoret Town with his coach. Kevanas Asikimana from Rwanda, who perished with him during the tragic accident. For close to eight years, Kiptum worked hard in good health. And we know he was an athlete who had devoted his life to athletics. Hence, he had a whole life ahead of him to achieve incredible greatness with incredible legacy. Thank you. I may now wish to invite uh, the wife and the children for a short tribute of Kelvin Gibtum. <laughs> 